One of the not so great things that comes with being famous is that your life is literally under an electron microscope for screening by the entire world. And if it isn't squeaky clean, you just might find yourself in a fix. This exactly seems to be the case with Jay-Z, as reports have it that the rapper's notorious past is finally coming back to haunt him. And although it's easy to think that Jay-Z might be above the reach of the law, the truth is that the rapper might have actually been working with the law to pay for his crimes. I know you're probably wondering how the king of rap could have possibly ended up working for somebody else, but you'd be surprised about what really goes on in this industry. If you're already curious, you'll thank me at the end of this video. You ever wondered how a regular guy from Brooklyn became one of the most influential people in the entertainment industry? Well, let's just say he didn't exactly have a very natural rise to power. And while I could easily just throw random facts about the man at your face, Kanye has done all of that for me. Control Jay-Z and Beyonce. But not you, man. But they can't control me. It's you see, you. it ain't no name I won't name. Exactly. It's up. Only a couple of weeks ago, one of Jay-Z's best friends, rapper Kanye West, pretty much exposed Hov for how he's able to stay at the top. According to West, Jay and his wife are under the control of Hollywood elites and are under pretty strict obligations to do exactly what they're told. They aren't even the only ones on that list. However, what makes the Carters case particularly special is that they are the most successful pair in the group of people that Kanye outed. Why do you think that is? Well, word on the street is that Jay-Z has made some pretty insane deals to secure his spot at the top. According to the revelations from someone in the entertainment industry, Jay-Z isn't exactly the boss he's been portraying himself as. Rather, he's under the federal government's thumb. I mean, the story seems fishy at first, but considering Jay-Z, an entertainer, is one of the only people in the world capable of buying a $200 million mansion without raising any major red flags, the man just might be working with them. And what better way to plot something like that seamlessly than painting your best friend, the only person that knows about your dirty dealings, as a crazy person? Looking at what Jay has made Kanye become, you could just say he might have gotten away with that. Another thing that makes all of this more likely is the fact that Jay has been connected to way too many powerful people over the years. For starters, Jay-Z has a pretty unusual bond with former U.S. President Barack Obama, so much so that he actually credits Jay to have helped him win the election. Do you really have President Obama on your text? Can you? On uh, your? Can you? Can yeah, you? I've spoken to him on the phone and had texts from Obama. Of course. In a new video, Obama, who is well known for being an avid music fan, discussed how my first song, which appeared on the Black Album, was a track he would listen to often when he was on the campaign trail and later running the U.S. I've mentioned a couple of songs that even when I was running for president came up a lot on my iPod, he said. One of them was My First Song by Jay-Z, which is a song that I love because it talks about the struggle of just trying to make it. He continued, there's a line in there, treat my first as my last and my last as my first and my thirst is the same as when I came. And I actually kept on listening to that song during the presidency because it was a reminder that even when you do make it, having a little bit of that sense of still being hungry, still having to work hard, still having to prove something, that's what keeps propelling you forward. While you could argue that his connection with Obama could be majorly because of their similar organs, how do you explain his ties to the NFL commissioner? What makes this connection even worse is that time and time again, NFL commissioner Roger Goodell has been caught up in some of the worst controversies in sports history. And that's exactly who Jay thought to align with? Seems beyond fishy. But how exactly did Hub get involved with Goodell? In 2019, the movement for black lives and the NFL were opposed. The NFL used Jay-Z to help smooth things over. Remember what I said about Jay being under the control of the elites? Yeah, this is it playing out. For nearly three years, Rock Nation's been responsible for creating a star-studded event during the crescendo of football season. It's the other half of the deal that Jay-Z made with the NFL commissioner, Roger Goodell, back in 2019. And it's often the only part people remember because it was the part that got people calling the rapper turned businessman a sellout. What are we going to do? You know what I'm saying? So we should millions and millions of people and 
or we get stuck on Colin not having a job. In the fall of 2019, after former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick was blackballed from the NFL for protesting against police brutality, the league announced that it would be partnering with none other than Sean Jay-Z Carter. It was startling news considering Jay-Z had prided himself on being an anti-corporate rapper who was quick to call for a boycott. In 1999, he boycotted the Grammys after the music award show ignored DMX's meteoric rise, including having two number one albums in the same year. In 2006, Jay-Z pointed out hip hop's impact on luxury brands such as Cristal Champagne. And when he realized that the love wasn't mutual, he banned the high priced alcohol from being sold at his sports lounge 4040 club. It's come to my attention that the managing director of Cristal, Frederic Rizad, views the hip hop culture as unwelcome attention. Jay-Z said at the time for the Wine Magazine decanter, I view his comments as racist and will no longer support any of his products through any of my various brands, including the 4040 Club, nor in my personal life. Yet, here's the same person turning his back on what was right. Why, you ask? Well, let's just say the people Hov works for kind of have their boot on his neck because they have too much on his past. You see, before climbing the ladder to become one of the biggest names in the industry, Jay-Z used to be nothing more than a petty criminal. The Jigga man has been very open about his past as an illegal pharmaceutical entrepreneur, both rapping about it and discussing it in interviews. I know about budgets. I was a drug dealer, he told Vanity Fair in 2013. To be in a drug deal, you need to know what you can spend, what you need to re-up, or if you want to start some sort of barbershop or car wash. Those were the businesses back then. Things you can get in easily to get out of that life. It helped prepare him for the cutthroat music industry, he has said. Though if you think it's tough out there on the charts, it's nothing compared to what Jay saw on the streets. At some point, you have to have an exit strategy because your window is very small, he said about drug dealing. You're gonna get locked up or you're gonna die. Besides the drug enterprise, Hav might have had to go under wraps. There's also the fact that he was involved in other criminal activities, including a stabbing. Jay-Z turned himself in tonight and the cops started working on his rap sheet, accusing him of, of a stabbing at a trendy party. As you can see, Jay is also known to have had a pretty violent past. But even this doesn't begin to describe just how messed up the main was before the limelight. See, apart from having a hold on him for a few violent crimes he committed when he was younger, Jay-Z might have also been involved with minors back in the day. Damon Dash has reacted to the rumor that Jay-Z had a s relationship with Foxy Brown when she was an underage girl. The rumor was kicked off in 2011 with claims that Foxy Brown was infected with gonorrhea by Jay-Z. Foxy was like 16, that's all I'm saying. Well, that, it seems like you got a question for Jay. Ask him. <laughs> Don't ask me his question. Damon Dash was recently quizzed on a show by Nick Cannon who asked, at what age was Foxy Brown signed? You the boss. Replying, Damon Dash said, I wasn't paying attention to Foxy Brown. I didn't sign Foxy Brown. Stop putting me in that. Don't beat around the bush. Say what you want to say. What do you mean by that question? It seems like you got a question for Jay. Ask him. The rumor was suddenly put to rest in 2013 when Jay-Z dropped a line about it in his song Picasso Baby. I never stuck my f in the fox's box, but damned if I ain't open Pandora's box. They try to slander your man on CNN and Fox. Foxy Brown came out to clear the air during when the singer was released, stating that she wasn't the one who started the rumor. Was I shocked when Jay said the line in Picasso Baby? Yes, because we've talked about that. We have a history that supersedes music. I think he began to feel the pressure because people were saying my age. The age thing, 15, 14, and after a while that gets to a person. The Jay I know, the Sean I know, never comes out of character. So for that, and that's my point, that's where the tears come from earlier because people don't understand that it affects people more than you think. The fact that he felt he needed to say that, that means that something struck something. At some point, it was just like, enough. While this subtly clears the air about him getting with Foxy, it isn't proof that something didn't actually happen between them. By that fact alone, this along with other details from Jay's life, proves that the feds have enough to indict him anytime. So it makes sense that he'd heed to everything they say. Unlike you'd expect, some fans were already aware of who Jay really is, even before now. One user on Twitter wrote, Jay-Z really working with a whole fed. We've got to talk about the huge strain of hyper-capitalism and pro-imperialism in mainstream hip-hop. Jay-Z a fed, but his whole current image is that of a father figure to the current generation. Looks like there might be a lot more about Jay-Z we don't know. But for now, we'll work with what we know. That's it for this video. Bye-bye.